What are you wearing? What do you get to wear to school today? You want to show everyone one of your pajamas? Yeah, I get to wear dumbbells. Oh, can you back up so they can see? So he has some dinosaur pajamas. He gets to wear his pajamas to school today. It's pajama day. Yeah. Are you excited? They have, they have the lost raptors. My favorite bad dinosaur. Oh yeah, that's your favorite dinosaur? Are you favorite, ready to have yeah. a really good day at school today? Yeah. Yeah? I, I want to show them what I got from Dollar Tree last day. Let's go to the bathroom. Oh, we'll show them when we get back home because we got to go, okay? Okay. Welcome to my day in the life vlog. I am going to try and attempt to film this day in the life today. We will see how it goes. This morning already has been super chaotic. Madison has been overly cranky and crying all day. I was only able to accomplish one thing, well, two things, I guess, getting myself ready and then um, doing one load of laundry. And that is about it. And it's almost one o'clock. Ryan is already obviously off in school. He'll be getting out of school shortly. Today was pajama day and he was so excited. This kid has been waiting for today all week. He, every day he's asking me if it was pajama day yet. So this morning was pajama day and I think I got like one short clip of him. But yeah, it's almost time to pick him up. But I'm going to try to vlog for the rest of the day. We have martial arts tonight, but I don't know if I will vlog that just because I feel like I'm always vlogging that. Maybe I'll get like one or two clips, but I'm not sure. I also wanted to mention to you guys that this video is actually going to be a collaboration. I am collabing with one of my really good friends here on YouTube. Her name is Christine Pennant. And Over on Christine's channel, she has so many different videos on her channel. She does cleaning videos. She'll do vlogs. She does shop with me, decor, home tours, and she always does an awesome job when it comes to editing. So definitely check her out and this is i think our third collab together we've done a few previous collabs um in the past i will actually link those down below just in case you guys are interested in checking those out but she's also a fellow youtube mama she is a mom of three she's actually one of the few girls that i have exchanged numbers with she's just so sweet i love her um let me tell you guys her house is beautiful i mean it is so gorgeous i'm always telling her how beautiful her house is and how it belongs in a magazine. I don't think I'll ever be able to afford a house that looks like hers, but a girl can only dream. You guys just need to go check her out for yourself if you guys are not already following her. She does a lot of different videos over on her channel as well. She'll do like vlogs, she'll do shop with me, she does cleaning videos. So please head over to her channel and let her know that I sent you. Believe me, you will love her and you will love her channel. So go show her some love. Let her know that I sent you. If you are new to my channel, this is your first time visiting my channel and you're coming over from Christine's channel, then welcome. My name is Jillian and I'm a stay-at-home mom to two little ones. I'm also a special needs mom to my daughter who is autistic and I enjoy doing so many different videos over here on my channel. I like to switch it up every once in a while. So if you enjoy my day in the life vlog today, I would really love for you to subscribe and join me and my YouTube family. It would mean so much to me if you joined my YouTube family. Now let's get on into the rest of the day. Like I said, it's almost one o'clock. I'm probably going to try to do at least one more load of laundry and then um, clean up the kitchen a little bit. There's no dirty dishes in the sink, but I do have to unload the dishwasher. So I need to do that and then it'll probably be time to head out to pick up Ryan from school. So check back in with you guys in a little. Hi, are you in your house? Are you playing in your house? I, I heard you jumping. 
Maddie, I heard you jumping. What are you playing with? You playing with your piggy? Can you say hi to everyone? You never want to say hi. Mommy doesn't fit in this playhouse or she would crawl in here. Can you say hi? Are you going to be a good baby now? This chair is getting so small for you. She loves this unicorn chair we got from, I think, like, Walmart, like, one or two years ago for her birthday. And it's so small now. She barely fits on it, but she loves it. All right, so I am currently in carpooling. And, of course, as always, I'm, like, all the way in the back of the line because I refuse to get here 30 to 40 minutes early. Like, one, Madison would never sit in this car for 30, 40 minutes while waiting for Ryan to be released from school. And at two, it's just a waste of gas. If you guys do carpool with your kids, what time do you guys get to school? What, like, how early do you get to the school? Because I feel like I get here, I always get here between five and 10 minutes before they are released. And even getting here 10 minutes early, I'm always all the way in the back of the line. So yeah, enough about that. I just want to jump on here and chit chat with you guys for a little bit. I am so sorry if a lot of this Dana Life vlog is me talking to you guys. But honestly, during the week on a school night, I really do not do much just because Ryan has school the following day. On weekends, it's a little more fun, a little more festive, just because it's not a school night. And also Robert usually is off either on Saturday or Sunday. So we will like do something as a family. But on a school night, I usually like to lay low unless Ryan has martial arts or Madison has therapy. And then sometimes while Ryan's in school, I will like run some errands. Um, but the past two days, Monday and Tuesday, I went to Target and the grocery store. So I honestly don't need to go to any other stores. So today I probably picked the worst day to do a day in life because I'm not gonna be doing anything. But hey, that is life. Sometimes you just have a boring day and this is the day I decided to film a day in the life vlog. But also I wanna ask you guys, how did you feel, if you have kids, how did you feel about your child's first ever field trip? So Ryan has his first ever field trip tomorrow and I am paranoid and I'm freaking out. I really wanted to attend this field trip and I'm really bummed and upset that I cannot. So when Ryan's teacher sent home the letter letting us know that they were going to have a field trip and like how much money it was to um, attend the field trip and all that, I always check his folder right when he gets home. So school is dismissed at 2.45 and I usually get home by three o'clock the latest. So the day they sent home the letter, I, as soon as I got home, checked his folder, I saw there was a letter about a field trip coming up and I immediately emailed Ryan's teacher asking her if parents could attend or volunteer to be a chaperone because this is his first ever field trip and I really wanted to be a part of it. He emailed me back like two days later, letting me know that only one parent could attend um, the field trips. And I was so mad. I guess another parent already volunteered, which I'm pretty sure it was probably the class teacher because that's impossible. Like what other parent was able to email her so quickly? Like I feel like I emailed her so quickly as soon as I got home. I don't know, maybe another parent got home before me and beat me to it, but I'm pretty sure it was the parent um, class or class parent, whatever that was able to get first dibs on volunteering for this field trip. So I'm super upset that I cannot attend this field trip with Ryan, but I'm just really paranoid and maybe I'm just an overprotective mom, but I'm gonna let him go on the field trip, but I'm just scared that, I don't know, I feel like nowadays it's so easy for a child to be kidnapped. You always see on the news how easily a kid can be kidnapped and they will be off school grounds for three hours. So I'm just scared that someone's gonna try to kidnap my child because Ryan's very overly friendly. Like he will talk to anyone and I'm always letting him know, you know, don't ever go with a stranger, don't talk to strangers. If someone comes up to you that you don't know and they tell you to come with you or get in their car or something, you do not go, you scream. But I don't know, I feel like sometimes he's just so sweet, sometimes he forgets. So really paranoid about that. Then I'm also paranoid because he gets so easily distracted. Like if he sees something that he likes, if he sees like an animal or a picture or something that he likes, he will go over to it because he gets so easily distracted. So I'm just like, what if he finds something or sees something on the field trip that he wants to go explore and he walks away from the group. And since there's so many students in the class, I think there's like 24, 25 students and 
there's only going to be two adults i think watching them which is the teacher and the one parent that is going on the field trip so it's two adults for 25 kids so like what if he gets distracted and wanders off and since the teacher and the parent have to keep their eye on so many kids they don't realize that ryan wanders off until it's too late and he's gone so really paranoid and i know tomorrow for those three hours i'm going to be like yeah i'm going to be crazy a crazy woman thinking about it i'm just really nervous and i don't know if it's just me so please let me know in the comments if you have a child how did you feel about their first field trip if you weren't able to attend let me know if i'm just crazy because i'm really nervous he's super excited to go on the field trip though um like super excited so yeah i could be that overprotective mom that didn't let him go on the field trip because i couldn't attend but i'm not going to i'm gonna let him go on this field trip and stop being so paranoid but i just want to know if i'm just being crazy or if anyone else felt like this as well but those are my thoughts so yeah i think i will just pick up the camera again once we get home from picking up ryan because i'm looking at the time and right now it's saying i've been talking for almost six minutes straight and you guys are probably annoyed with me talking so i will see you guys once we get back home from picking up ryan what are you laughing at manny what are you laughing at you eating your shirt how does that shirt taste? Huh? How does that shirt taste? It, is it delicious? <laughs> You're crazy. What are you laughing at? Can you stop eating your shirt? <laughs> You're crazy. I took off your shoes. Look at socks on. Gotta get your card. Find your name. Can you find it? This one. Let me see. Turn it around. Good job. Okay, go sit with your friends, crisscross. Go. You and brothers close. You can make a baby. You wanna watch Papa, don't you? You're too close. You can't get a snack already. We just got here. You can't yet. You wanna watch Peppa? So you have to do that. Mom and dad. You have to look right at mom, right at dad. Whoever brought you today, you have to be super, super loud. They're going to give you two thumbs up or two thumbs down. If you guys get two thumbs up, then you guys get two high five awards before you go. Oh. If you don't, then we have to do 10 million push ups. So, so, how do you say, clap! in my teeth really quickly we are now um back home from ryan's martial arts kids already took a bath and ate dinner and we probably have about an hour before it's officially at bedtime but i did want to whiten my teeth because i've been drinking so much red wine lately it's so bad and plus i drink a lot of coffee sometimes i even drink coffee twice a day i know it's horrible but between coffee and red wine my teeth are so yellow and I've been watching over a few of my previous videos that I have uploaded and I'm just distracted by how yellow my teeth is. The entire video, I'm just staring at my mouth and it's really embarrassing. So I need to go ahead and try to whiten my teeth. I haven't done it since a last year. And the kit I'm going to use is this carbon cocoa kit. And it is a kit that was actually sent to me last year by this company. And just an FYI, I am not sponsored by this company at all. And they did not pay me to even bring up their company again. This was actually sent to me last year. And the only thing they wanted out of it was me to review it for you guys. And I did do that last year. Ended up really loving it. And yeah, so I'm going to use this. Hopefully one day they will reach out to me again. Because I like it that much that once I run out, um, I want some more. So if they don't reach out to me again, then I will definitely just purchase it on my own. It is a charcoal um, 
ooh, a charcoal teeth whitening kit, which I like because it's like all natural and organic. It's not any like harsh chemicals or anything. And I love that they gave me it in a little tote, but I'm gonna show you guys how I use it. I used it a lot last year. This year, I just haven't, we're in a new year, what am I talking about? Early last year when they sent it to me, I used it a lot. And then towards the end of the year, I just stopped because I started getting lazy. But they sent me the black activated charcoal toothpaste. And this toothpaste, it does come out black, but it just tastes like any mint tea um, toothpaste. They sent you a toothbrush. And then in here is where the charcoal is. I will say though, it does get messy. So be prepared for it to get messy, but all of the charcoal is in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to whiten my teeth because no one wants to see my yellow teeth anymore. So I'm just gonna wet the toothbrush. So I just wet the toothbrush and then now I am going to dip it in my charcoal. You guys probably don't even care about me doing this, but and then I'm gonna shake it off, dip it again, make sure all the bristles are covered and then shake it off again. And now I am going to brush my teeth with it. So just give me a minute, I need to get a towel cause it's gonna make a mess. All right, so I'm just gonna brush my teeth. This does get pretty messy, but you're supposed to use this charcoal powder and brush your teeth for about three minutes before going in and giving your mouth a good rinse. Now I'm gonna use the charcoal toothpaste and brush my teeth. So you're supposed to use the charcoal on your teeth for three minutes and then go in with the toothpaste. And I'll show you how it comes out black. I think it looks really cool. So that's how the toothpaste looks like. And it honestly just tastes like um, any mint toothpaste. And so. now just like the charcoal powder, I'm going to brush my teeth for another three minutes with the toothpaste. All right, so I'm now done brushing my teeth and whitening them. You don't see a difference right now because it takes a few um, uses for it to actually show up on your teeth. You can't just use it once and expect it to like really whiten your teeth a lot. I think the first time I ever used it, I saw a little difference, but for you to see like a huge difference, you have to use it um, for at least like a week straight. So I'm gonna continue using it for the rest of the week because this girl does not want yellow teeth. So now I'm gonna go downstairs. The kids are downstairs and they're kind of quiet, which isn't good. So I'm gonna see what they're up to. How was school today? Good. Good? And how was martial arts? Good. Good? Did you have fun? Um, yeah. I see a grumpy game. Um, you want to play again? You can't play that game, though. Yeah. I Can you say hi to everyone? Yeah. Well, everyone watch this video to learn how to play that game. All right. Can you say good night, everyone? Good night, everybody. You're going to tell them you have a fun field trip? Tomorrow. I have a fun field trip to the theater tomorrow. To the theater? It's going to be so much fun, huh? We're going to see beat bugs. You're going to see beat bugs? Yeah. you got to tell them tomorrow once you get back how it was, okay? Okay. All right, guys. So it is now officially bedtime. I'm about to go head upstairs and put the kids to sleep. Madison is pretty cranky. She's crying. I'm pretty sure you can hear her in the background. So I need to go put her to bed. But I want to jump on here super quickly to close out the vlog. If you guys stuck around for this long and watched all the way through, then you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching my entire day in life vlog. I know probably wasn't the most interesting a day in life because I didn't go anywhere, but this is just a typical day in life. Like I said, I don't always go and do fun things or run errands. So hopefully you guys still enjoyed today's day in life. And please do not forget to head over to my friend Christine's channel. All of her information will be linked down below. She'll be also doing a day in life over on her channel. So show her some love and let her know that I sent you. Now I'm gonna go tend to my daughter who is super upset and put her to bed. So as always, thank you so much for watching today's vlog. If you have not already, please subscribe. It'll mean so much to me if you join my YouTube family and I will see you guys next time.